Blake Wieshar here with Fantini Research. I'm here with Steve Walther, the Senior Director of Product Management for Konami. And Steve's going to show us some of the exciting new products that Konami has to offer. So Steve, take it away. Thank you, Blake. You're Appreciate welcome. it. So today we're going to show you our progressive link called Smash Smash Festival. Smash Smash Festival runs on our Concerto cabin on our KP3 Plus platform. It's a link progressive with a new concept. The prizes that you can win can grow based upon how much you play. This is linked. Each of the games will be uh, linked together and a player will then be presented with the opportunity to select between two piñatas. Whatever piñata they select, they win the prize. The other prize is put up into the top screen for everybody else to win. Now one lucky player will get to play the game and get a chance to win all of the piñatas. And in this case, I won some free games, which are good. And it's always great for a demo, because demos become uh, a little bit uh, tricky. And we'll go ahead and finish the free games. And now this player gets a chance to win all four piñatas that were put into the, uh, the pool. And they can pick them one at a time or they can hit smash all and smash all of the piñatas for a prize. So the player will play to get as many piñatas in the link as possible and uh, it's a lot of fun. Part of the excitement of the gaming show this year is our ability to bring some skill-based gaming products to the floor. Our venture here is a version of Frogger, which is a skill-based version of Frogger where a player gets to play Frogger and then gets a chance at a bonus. Depending upon how well they play helps improve the bonus that they get. So they instantly start into a skill-based game. Let's see how it happens. Right here we start the game and the player moves the frog across the playing field collecting coins. They have 15 seconds to get it done. The better their score, the better their chance of getting a bonus would be. And my time is up. I didn't cross the green threshold, but had I crossed the green threshold, this star would have been updated to a mini spot. Now I get to pick between one of the lily pads and I get four credits back. Had I picked this spot, I would have got the wheel. The idea here behind this game is that you have a skill-based game that leads to a credit prize or even an improved wheel for a big bonus. I'm standing in front of Konami's newest multi-station product, the Crystal Cyclone. Crystal Cyclone at this uh, configuration shows eight screens. In the center is a ball drop lottery style game. And when I play the game, I get one of three bonuses. And today we're going to show the first bonus, which is called the Crystal Cyclone bonus. It's a cyclone feature. So the player will randomly trigger the cyclone feature, and here they will be given the opportunity to pick three of their lucky numbers. And here comes their lucky. So here the player is choosing their lucky numbers, and then when the time runs out, now at this, at this point, multiple stations can be choosing their lucky numbers all at once, so people can be playing together for this same award. And here we will drop 14 balls. And depending upon whether or not we match my three balls, my three numbers that we've selected, will determine whether or not we go into the progressive jackpot. Everything is gravity based. We have no random number generator here on this one. And I've collected one number. Um, and I don't think I'm collecting the other three. So I would win um, 100 or 10,000 credits for this award. A lot of interaction between the base game and the center unit. Lots of lights and lots of attract on this one. This is called the Crystal Cyclone and it can, like I said, it can run eight stations and it's lots of fun because you're playing your standard base game but have this chance to play in this communal arcade style bonus that only Konami can provide.